Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about how I use Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro and Logic Pro together to make high quality audio demos like the one that we recorded for our essential voicings for jazz piano. The accompaniment was directly exported from Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro and imported into Logic Pro and then we recorded a piano solo on top. Today I'll show you the two different methods that you can use, MIDI export or direct audio recording. As you know, you can have Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro on iOS or macOS. Let's start with the MIDI export option. So here I have Body and Soul loaded into Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro on my iPad Pro, and it sounds like this. I'm gonna export the backing track as a MIDI file. So tap on the share button and then inside the export MIDI slash XML, tap on the export play along track as MIDI. As soon as the MIDI file has been created, you'll see this message. Now we can go to the files app and find the body and soul MIDI file inside the mapping tonal harmony pro MIDI folder. I tap on select and then select this file. Then tap on share and send it to my Mac via AirDrop. I can now open the Downloads folder on my Mac in Finder and find the Body and Soul MIDI file in there. And we can open this file with Logic Pro right away. Now, before we do this, you might want to download the drum sounds we used in Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro. We created these drum samples explicitly for Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro. So if you want the drums to work and sound awesome without lots of tweaking, I would certainly recommend that you download our sound font. I'll put a link in the description down below. Just click on it and a file named mthprodrummersampler.sf2 will be downloaded to your downloads folder. Once the file is there, you need to drag and drop it into Logic's sampler folder. In Finder, click on your user folder, ours is called Arial, go inside the music folder, then inside the audio and music apps folder, and then just drag and drop the file from your downloads folder into the sampler instruments folder there. That's all. Now Logic will be able to find and use these drum sounds. Open Logic, create a new file, and choose to add a new software instrument using the sampler. Click on the sampler to open it. And now in the browser pop-up, you'll find the MTH Pro Drum Sampler. Click to load it. Logic has imported all the banks in this file. So now you can see the MTH Pro Drum Sampler.sf.bk, which contains three different drum sets. Brushes, MTH Jazz Drums 1, and Studio Drum Set 1. And you can load any of them depending on the style of the song that you're working with. All right, so let me add two more tracks, one for the bass and one for the piano or the guitar. All right, so now that we have all of this set, we can go ahead and open the body and soul MIDI file with Logic Pro. I'll choose don't close because I want both the sequence we're working on and the MIDI file both to be open in Logic simultaneously. So now I have both files opened. Let me arrange the order of the tracks to match the MIDI file. So the drums should be last. So now I can drag and drop the MIDI tracks into the logic sequence that we've created with the correct sounds. One thing I like to do is change the transposition on the bass to zero. Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro has the bass track transposition as plus 12 because many bass samples sound one octave lower, but not the acoustic bass we've chosen here. Also, make sure you check the tempo you want. This is MIDI. So you can change the tempo to anything you want without affecting the sound, which is very cool and something you can't always do on an audio file. Let's play it. It works, but it's very dry and the drum sound should be the brushes bank since this is a ballad. So I'll change the MTH Jazz Drums 1 to brushes.
much better. Also, I'm going to change the piano to a guitar sound. Just an acoustic guitar will do here. The drums are still a little dry, so let me add some reverb. Better. Also, the hi-hat is probably too loud in my opinion. Double click on the track to open the MIDI info. Click on the envelope button to open the panel below. Choose note velocity. Select the hi-hat note on the keyboard and then drag any of the white dots down. That will lower all the hi-hat appearances. And now it sounds much more balanced. Then you can use this track to record a piano solo like we did for our Essential Voicings for Jazz Piano Volume 2. As you can hear, the performance quality of MTHP's backing tracks is amazing. And with the ability to further tweak and customize these MIDI tracks through Logic, like we showed you today, Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro is an indispensable tool for any musician. So here's the second method. This method involves exporting audio. So rather than exporting MIDI into Logic, we're going to export an audio file from Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro. This method of using an audio file is a bit more streamlined and user-friendly, but it lacks a lot of the customizability that our first MIDI option gave to us. You don't need to worry about creating tracks for each MIDI track. You don't have to load specific samples. You don't have to mix anything. Everything is ready to go. For the method that I'm going to show you now, you're gonna need Soundflower and QuickTime. Let's open Autumn Leaves. Remember, if you wanna use the MIDI export option on Mac OS, it's the same as I showed you earlier on the iPad. Just click on the share button and choose Export Play Along Track as MIDI and choose a name to save it as. Okay, back to the audio export method. So let's say, that you don't want the piano on your exported audio file, just the bass and the drums. Just open the mixer and lower the volume of the piano track all the way down. I'm actually gonna tweak the reverb a little bit as well here. Next, we're gonna change Mapping Tonal Harmony's audio output to Soundflower. Launch QuickTime and choose New Screen Recording. Before you start the recording, Make sure your microphone is set to Soundflower. Next, go ahead and hit the record button. Now hit the play button on Mapping Tonal Harmony and wait for the entire song to finish playing. Remember, we routed the sound through Soundflower earlier, so you won't actually hear anything while this is happening. That's completely fine. Once the song is over, stop the screen recording and save the file as audio only. Now we're gonna launch Logic and drag the audio file into Logic to create a new audio track. I'm just gonna clean this up a bit by deleting any part of the file that doesn't have anything to do with our audio track. Now I'm all set to record my own piano track on top of our newly created backing track, exactly like we did for our Essential Jazz Voicings for Piano series. So there you have it, two different methods for you guys to use MTH's amazing play along tracks in Logic so that you can do whatever you want with them. Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share us with your friends, it really helps us out. Catch you next time.